it's, it's one of the um, major areas of anxiety um, for all Ghanaians as to what does the 17th time mean and where are we going to go uh, from there. Um, if you realize uh, the, the program is anchored by uh, post-COVID program for economic growth, uh, which we developed um, ourselves. Um, and if you look at um, the strategies that are in there, the issue of moving our revenue um, from 13% um, to revenue to GDP to 18% is an important uh, facet of this so that we have the resources to do what we have to do. A strong sense of um, um, expenditure and commitment controls um, will also uh, be emphasized um, going forward. Uh, and the growth agenda is really strong. You know, sometimes I sit alone and I ask myself, when they sit out there at the IMF and the World Bank or the European Union, when Africans are not there, what do they say? They must be saying, we told you. They were incapable of running their affairs. We told you. They cannot run their economies. We told you. They do not have the intellectual capacity to do the right thing. So they call us in, and we call them in. And we think they mean well for us. They don't. They are in business. And their business is to ensure that we continue to misgovern ourselves. We will restore indigenous Ghanaian investment in the financing and banking sector. And we will create a tiered banking system that will serve various segments of the market. We will give the opportunity for experienced banking hands who were laid off and needlessly to secure their careers once more and move away from the menial jobs that they were compelled to take. As far as practicable, the banking licenses that were unjustly cancelled by this government will be restored. Our nation is still at the crossroads with crippling debt and an inefficient and wasteful government. We cannot continue this pathway. It is a betrayal of our people.